So we learn about getting data in Power BI. We have loaded data in Power BI, but problem is so far it looks good. In order details table, all the column headers are visible. But if we check out other tables like customer table, we can see column one, column two, column three. We are not able to recognize these headers. Date table, this is all good, no problem at all. If we expand product table again, we are not able to recognize these column headers. So it's not that Excel or a data source don't have these headers. Our data source do have headers, but Power BI could not recognize these headers. And these needs to be promoted. There can be some more issues in this data. So this is not a good idea to directly load data in Power BI desktop. Instead, the best practice is to first prepare the data. So to prepare the data, how to clean and transform the data? We don't clean and transform data directly in Power BI desktop. There is another window where we clean and transform the data. So let's open another Power BI file, a blank Power BI file, and let's connect with the same data source one more time. And this time, we will get to know there are two options given. Instead of directly clicking on load, we are going to select the second option in the Navigator pane, Transform Data. So our new Power BI file is open. This is blank. There is nothing here, no data. Along with existing Power BI file, we can open another blank Power BI file, like we can open Excel blank file. So let's connect with the same data source one more time, import data from Excel, and we will choose the same data source. Again, the same navigator pane will open after connecting with that data source. So it may take a few seconds. So now the navigator pane has opened. We are going to select all the table names and now we can see these two options. Third option is to cancel it out. These two options, if we click on load, this is going to load data directly in Power BI Desktop here in Data Pane, which we don't want. First, we need to clean and transform this data. Now, if we are 100% sure that everything is perfectly fine and there is no cleaning or transformation required, then we can directly click load, else we should always click on transform data. Right now, this window is Power BI Desktop. We are going to click on transform data and once we click on transform data, another window will open. Now it is processing the queries and once the queries will be processed, a new window will open and name of that new window is Power Query Editor. Now we can see this new window Power Query Editor. And before we proceed further, let's know what all options are given here and what are the windows or panes given. So left side, this is called as Queries pane. Queries is already written here. We don't call these as tables. These are called as queries. This is called as ribbon. These are different tabs whom transform at column view tools help. This is data preview pane. We can see data here. Whatever table we will select, whatever query we will select, preview of that data we will see here in data preview pane. And this is called as query setting pane. Query setting pane. So we are going to add cleaning and transformation steps using these different features given within Power Query Editor. We can choose any of these tables and we can see preview of that data. Now, let's start with customer query. So customer query, we can say that the first row should be title, but here we can say it is showing us column one, column two, column three. Even in our other, another file, where we directly loaded this data, we can see column one, column two, column three. We were not able to recognize headers. So we need to fix this issue. And how to fix this issue? To fix this issue, there is header given in first row and this first row needs to be promoted. How to promote this? Within home tab in Power Query Editor, we can use use first row as header. If you don't see these options like valid and, and this, then it is another feature which will be discussed later. So let me uncheck just to avoid confusion. Now we can see that customer ID is and first name, last name, all this 
header is given in first row this needs to be promoted using first row as header and the moment we click here we will see header is going to be promoted we can go to next table date it's all good there's just one column order details no problem at all headers are already promoted product table here we need to fix some issues before we fix these issues let's move to sales representative even this query also has headers available in first row which needs to be promoted so now we have promoted headers in these two queries product table so why we are seeing these nulls we will learn that later we are going to clean and transform this later right now let's just close and apply and we will say if this action is going to show header name in power bi desktop or not now how to load this data in power bi desktop on left side below file this option is given there are three options one is close so close means close this power query editor apply means apply all the changes but do not close power query editor window close and apply means close this power query editor window and apply all the changes so according to requirement we can choose usually we prefer to use close and apply let's click on close and apply and once we click on close and apply data will be loaded in power bi desktop and customer table will not show column 1 column 2 column 3 instead it is going to show us all the column name so it may take few seconds depending on size of the data set how much time it will take in loading so it's almost done there are pending changes in queries so why we see this message here it is because we made some changes in power bi power query and once those changes are applied then only we will see this now we can see there are two files open one file is this one where we can see column 1 column 2 column 3 another file is this one where we promoted headers even in sales representative we are able to see these headers so this is the first cleaning and transformation step we applied now we will continue learning about more cleaning and transformation in the next video